food labels are something that we see frequently, but many of us take it for granted. More often than not, we don't really look at food labels, and even when we do, we don't understand what it means. Do the dates determine whether the food is safe to eat? What are the exact ingredients in this product? And what are these random line head symbols doing on all of this packaging? Today, we are going to work at fair price to bust some common myths and misconceptions of food labels. Hey, stop already lah! Oh, 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 okay, okay, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Food can expire because of two main reasons, safety and quality. Safety because after a certain time period, the amount of microorganisms in the food will have increased and past a certain level where it becomes harmful to us. Quality refers to the taste, smell, texture and appearance of the food which will be compromised after some time. There are different types of expiry dates on food labels. There's expiry date, use by, best before and so on and so forth. Expiry date and use by date refers to the dates after which the product, when kept under stated storage conditions, should not be eaten due to safety and quality reasons. For example, the growth of bacteria and germs may incur health risks or there may be a depletion of nutritional content in certain products such as infant formula, aka your baby milk powder. Best before dates refers to the dates after which the product, when kept under stated storage conditions, do not retain the same specific qualities as claimed. Like somehow, this next year's will probably lao hong after it expires. Thank you. Did you know that in Singapore, it is not compulsory to have date markings for certain food categories such as bakery products, fresh fruits, canned fruits and even alcohol? Huh? Really? Yeah, because food like bakery products, they are usually consumed shortly after they have been manufactured. So if they have gone bad, you should be able to tell quite easily from the appearance alone. This applies to fresh fruits as well. If you realise that your food is a bit like fuzzy, mouldy and smells a bit bad, you know that you shouldn't eat it anymore. KMJ. Hey, yes? How about the alcohol and canned fruits? Well, these food products do not spoil so easily by nature, but manufacturers still add in the expiry dates to ensure that they are consumed in time with the expected quality. So this also applies to the bakery products and fresh fruits that we mentioned earlier on. Most importantly, it's illegal for any stores to sell products beyond its expiry date because these products may not retain the same quality as before after these dates. So just so you know, my job today is to ensure that there's no expired products on the shelves which so far, so good, I've not found any. The reason why expiry dates only help to a certain degree is due to multiple reasons. If you store food under conditions that are not recommended, the food may spoil ahead of time. And that's because these expiry dates were determined after going through testing in specific conditions that will be reflected on the packaging itself. When you buy your frozen or chilled products, please put them in a cooler bag filled with ice or ice packs and go home immediately so that you can put them in the freezer and they won't spoil so easily. Also, if you have already opened the packaging, or if the packaging was damaged to begin with, germs could still enter and cause it to spoil ahead of time. So the rule of thumb is, once the packaging is open, the expiry date is no longer valid. Wait, are you going to pay for this? Wait, come back! Expiry dates are not the only thing that you can find on food labels. There's also a bunch of other information. Do you have any idea what this is? It tells us what is in the food. Yes, and this is really important especially if you have food allergies. So let's take nut allergies for example and let me find you some food products that doesn't seem to have nut allergies but they do. Okay look, this is like a butter sandwich cracker but read here. This product may contain soybean nuts and peanuts because it's made in a factory that contains these ingredients. So please read the ingredient list very carefully to ensure you don't buy products that has ingredients you're supposed to avoid. So which country do you think all the ingredients in this product come from? Uh, it says product of Australia. Australia? That was a true question. So even though it's stated here product of Australia, the individual ingredients may come from multiple countries of origin. So the country of origin that's stated here refers to the last processing place where the product was packed. But if you're interested to know where the individual ingredients come from, you may approach the distributor or manufacturer directly. If a product is labelled made in Singapore or product of Singapore, it means that a significant part of its manufacturing process is conducted right here on a sunny island. However, if they are just imported in bulk and packed in Singapore, they can only be labelled packed in Singapore. AMJ, mm -hmm. any idea what is this lion head symbol? Actually, I don't know eh, even though I've seen it before. Uh, the ingredients are all farmed and obtained in Singapore. I don't know, the seal of the product is from Singapore. 
Only Singaporeans can buy. Not much shopping I see can buy. I'm gonna leave the answer in the comment section below. It's quite interesting. Go and check it out. Is this for the audience or for me? One other use for all of this information in the food labels is to help to trace the specific batch of the product in the event of a food incident. So, for example, if batch 28 of Just Keep Thinking's choco powder has some contaminants in it, instead of recalling every single tin on the shelf, we can just pinpoint the affected products to recall. So, if you have bought a product that has been recently recalled, just refer to the information behind to check if it's from the same affected batch. Now that we have busted some of the common myths of our food labels, we know that food labels are really important because it tells you when to to finish your food, how to keep them safe for consumption, what are the exact ingredients in your product, and where it was last packaged. To sum it all up, just like how your teachers always used to tell you, read the labels properly and just follow instructions. It is that simple. Here are some tips that you can keep in mind when you go for your next grocery shopping. Always buy food from reliable sources, do your homework on whether the food product has past safety issues, read the ingredient list to look out for allergens or additives you wish to avoid, Take note of the expiry date and verify with sellers on the use of claims by asking for relevant supporting information. Keep yourself safe, just keep thinking! <laughs>